Hello and welcome to Long Lost Tech, and today we'll be taking a look at my Toshiba Satellite T2130CS. You may recall a few videos that I've done that featured this computer, but they weren't very good. So I figured it was time for another look. The Toshiba Satellite T2130CS was released in late 1994 and features an Intel 486DX4 at 75MHz, 8MB of RAM, and a 500 megabyte hard drive. In the first video I did on this laptop, which was also the first episode of Long Lost Tech, I was using the original 500 meg drive. About a week later though, the hard drive died with a loud grinding noise. I have since replaced it with a 2 gigabyte compact flash card, which is faster, quieter, and easier to transfer files to. I can pull the card out, put it in my computer or phone, and copy files over. Taking a look around the front of the satellite, you can see the power indicators, a reset button, and clips to remove the wrist rest. On the left side, there's the hard drive, the cover is missing, and the two PCM CIA card slots, along with the power button and a lock slot. The three and a half inch floppy drive is on the right. The back houses the parallel port, AC power in, the power supply is internal, docking station connector, VGA, serial, and PS2 keyboard ports. With the lid open, you can see the 10 inch passive matrix 640x480 LCD panel, the keyboard, AccuPoint mouse pointer, and the mouse buttons, along with the grill for the PC beeper speaker. I chose to install Windows 95 on this laptop for a few reasons. First, it was the OS that the computer came with. Second, the 486DX4 isn't the best choice for Windows 98, and the 8 megabytes of RAM isn't ideal. But, Windows 95 runs just fine on this laptop, and the CF card hard disk solution helps that. So, you may be wondering how this machine does with games, and that's where this laptop falls short. It has no sound card. All you get is the tiny beeper speaker. Sure, you could go with a Disney sound source or Kovox, but those are expensive and only produce digital sound, no music. And then there's the screen. It's an STN display, meaning that it has poor contrast and any movement is blurry. It might be fine for Solitaire or SimCity, but games like Jazz Jackrabbit or Doom are almost unplayable. If you're looking for a vintage DOS gaming laptop, I highly recommend the Toshiba Tecra 510 CDT. It has an active matrix screen and a Sound Blaster compatible sound card along with the CD-ROM drive. Overall, the satellite's a decent laptop for your Windows 95 and DOS needs. In fact, I wrote the script for this video on it and it was just fine for that. It was never meant to play games, it was supposed to be a business computer taken on the road by executives. Would I recommend you go out and buy one? Maybe, but that's ultimately your choice. Well, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed watching this exploration of a vintage laptop, consider liking the video and subscribing. I upload other videos like this one usually once every few weeks. Thanks for watching.